Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to locate the front jacking point on your classic body style Impreza or many other Subarus alike. So, you're going to want to get your jack, and the jacking point is right in the middle, but let me get under there and show you with a flashlight. Okay, so go right under where your front license plate should be, and if you look straight ahead, you see, right here is the oil pan, and then you'll look more and you'll see this one plate with four different bolts on it. There's two bolts in the front right there and then two in the rear. And so what you're going to want to do with your jack is, well, that's the jacking point right there. And what I do to safely put it on, I roll the jack under. Let me try and align this. And when you're doing this, you got to make sure you don't jack it up on the oil pan because it's uh, not as secure as the jacking point, you know. It'll break. It'll dent in. Okay, there we go. So, you can see I go in and right on those back two bolts, that's where I'm going to put it up on. So the two bolts are like sitting in the middle of the jack, that circle uh, pad thing. And now I'm going to go ahead and lift it just to <laughs> prove to you guys it works. So, as you can see, front wheels are off the floor. And it's up on that point right there. When you get your car up this high, you do want to be careful because it does tend to slip sometimes off of that, especially because it's covered in oil. But once you have it up, go ahead, take your jack stands, and you're going to want to slide them right there under these pinch welds. Let me show you what that is. It's this whole metal thing, the seam right here, it sticks out. You set it on there. Mine smashed in, so I'd so I just let it smash in more, you know, whatever. And same thing on the driver's side. Slide that guy right in there. And now when you lower it, you're going to want to do it super, super slow. And if you have one of these twist things, what I do sometimes is clamp a vice grip on there. And then you can use the leverage and really, really slow set down on it. So just barely tilt that guy. Because if you drop this too fast on those pinch welds, the seams I showed you, it'll just bend them right in like you did to mine. You can hear this thing going down. Sounds like it's about to explode. I'm gonna fix that. Broken tab. And also make sure your e brake is riffed pretty good and it's in first. I'll just keep it from rolling backwards. Wheel chocks too. Alright, there we go. You can leave your jack under there for a third uh, measure of safety, but I don't usually, unless I'm like yanking on things. Alright, so thank you very much for watching, and if you like this video or like this car, or mini bikes, engines, all that sort of stuff, please feel free to subscribe. I have tons of videos and similar content, so thank you guys. Thanks for watching.